Hi folks, welcome back to another episode. In this episode we're going to add some shooting to the ships. Now we've created a new bullet class. This is an abstract class that will be extended by the various types of bullets in this game. Now in the original Space Invaders there was just one type of bullet, but in this one we're going to make this really crazy with lots of lots of funny types of ammunition. The enemy ships also now fire bullets, so we're going to have to watch out for them because we don't want to end up like this. We've also upgraded our famous rectangle ship and we've added an SVG graphic which I hand drawn, honestly, this took me ages. Which if you want to hand draw an SVG you have to use various points and coordinates. But at the end of the result is quite satisfying because you can change things like the colours and positions of various um, points in the SVG very accurately. Also you can do some programmatic things to the SVG during runtime which you cannot do with static PNG or GIF files. Now as we have all these bullets flying around the screen we need to keep track of them and remove ones that fly off the screen. We use this by an inactive method which tests for the bullet being outside of the coordinates of the game. We also are using some basic collision detection which is looping over all the bullets arrays and the various points where the bullets could crash into. For example, the player bullets will test for collisions with enemy ships and vice versa. Enemy ships bullets testing for intersection with the player. Now this, now this isn't the most efficient method of collision detection. In future episodes we'll be talking about quad trees. That's a lovely uh, restaurant there. A lot of people with boats here. Oh, look at that, Airbus 380, I think. Okay guys, if anyone's still watching, I will assume you are geeks, so I salute you. Let me just take you through some of the uh, code changes. So I've moved some of the code to constants, so things like the game settings. We are we have exporting these, these constants here that we can use in the game. We have some game states, and we have some key codes. We have updated this uh, app CSS, we've made a bit more space at the top of the screen because I looked at this game on uh, one of my friend's monitors and it was way too big. This is our beautiful bullets class. We have this abstract class here and then we extend it with the basic bullet. The uh, point to note is that we, this is, has one point of damage. We draw a rectangle. We have our invaders that we've done some changes to, well, a whole bunch of changes. Well, we have a reverse method which reverses the direction of the invaders. We have new direction vectors which are normalized vectors of magnitude 1. And then we use that to decide uh, what direction the thing will go in. And we're using constants for the speed of things so that we can keep a track of, of the ideas of what type of speed there is. Okay, on the player class, we are using more constants here. We're using a direction vector. We have a method called shoot ahead, which shoots a bullet um, based on uh, the fire rate. So we have some calculations here. We don't want to, uh, if we didn't have this check here, but then the user could press spacebar and spam uh, the bullets on the screen. Okay, this is the SVG file here. This is the silly one that I copied from uh, Pixel Draw, and then I replaced it with this. Now this comment should be removed. This is one that I was thinking of using, but I borrowed from one of the graphics sites, but it was too easy because I copy pasted it from somebody else. This is a collision detection, very boring. We have some maths, math methods, this is the normalized vector. So it takes in an angle in degrees and then maths.sign works with 
uh, radians, so we have to convert it to degrees and then we use that in the calculation. Okay, nothing important there. The game. Wow! We're using some constants in the game class. We we're changing the way we're managing the keys. Uh, instead of using uh, these booleans, we just use uh, keys in an array to find out what key is being pressed. We have our, in our update method we, uh, that's been called in the game loop. We have our recheck for the game states and we draw the various states. You know, if have you won, have you lost, are we in battle mode? Drawing the various states here. Nothing has changed too much here. This is the score methods. Blah blah blah. Updating the bullets based on their their speed and position. <coughs> Excuse me. Handle collisions. Yeah, I've seen a lot. Added a nice little fork me on GitHub sticker. And on our wave, we have reduced slightly amount of gear. I ah, don't care about that. And for a webpack, we've added on uh, this types node, which is to get TypeScript to understand the require statement that we used in the, the player class to, whoops, we to use this require, this is actually, this is like um, node require statement. I would have preferred to use like the standard ES6 import statement, but this uh, plugin for loading, the file loader plugin for Webpack has to use a require at this moment in time. In the future, they will update it to work with the ES6. So, yeah. That was another workaround. Okay, well, if anyone's still listening to me harp on about this game, I salute you. And uh, at some point, we'll update this game with some more interesting ships and weapons. When that will be, then it will be when I upload the video. Thanks so much for watching guys, see ya!